Hey guys, here are some quick fire questions for you on topic three of AQA physics, the particle model of matter. Now there is a lot of overlap in chemistry here, so some of these questions might seem a bit familiar, but this is a really, really good thing for you. If the same topic comes up twice and you only have to learn it once, it does two things, that's great. Um, if you want a hard copy of these questions so you can fill them in as we're going along, go over to my website, you can get the free revision guide there and then just fill in the answers as we're going along. Also over there there are flashcards to help you learn the equations and the units that come up in this topic because they are really, really important. Lots more whole topic videos, revision techniques videos, practical videos, quick fire videos coming up so don't forget subscribe so you don't miss anything. Draw the arrangements of particles in a solid. In a solid, you are going to have particles um, vibrating ever so slightly around a fixed position. They are not going to move, they're going to be very, very close to each other, and they're going to be touching each other a lot. Draw the arrangement of particles in a liquid. In a liquid, they're still going to be very close to each other, they're still going to be touching, but they're not going to be in a fixed position. They are going to be able to flow over each other, so their positioning um, is much more random than it is in a solid, but still very close to each other. Draw the arrangement of particles in a gas. In a gas, the particles are going to be very, very widely spaced. There's going to be lots of space between them. They're going to be moving very, very quickly. So they might bump into each other, but they are not generally touching each other. Density is how much matter or how many particles you have in a, a set volume. The equation linking density, mass and volume is density equals mass over volume. What are the units for density? Density is measured in kilograms per meters cubed. The units for mass are kilograms and the units of volume are meters cubed. What is specific, I hate this word, specific heat capacity? This is the amount of energy that something can absorb and hold on to. What is specific latent heat? This is all to do with the energy taken out or given in when things change state. What is the equation linking energy change, mass, uh, specific heat capacity and change in temperature? This is a slightly tricky one because there's quite a lot of bits involved in this. But change in energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. What are the units for energy change? Energy change measured in joules. Specific heat capacity is measured in joules per kilogram space degrees C. The units for temperature change are degrees C. The equation linking energy, mass and specific latent heat is energy equals mass times specific latent heat and our units for specific latent heat are joules per kilogram. What is the relationship, physics only now, what is the relationship um, between volume of gas and the pressure? So our pressure times volume and there's going to be a constant in there. Um, oh, that's the next question. And what are the units for pressure? Pressure is measured in pascals.